Hey everybody, I wanted to show you some of my favorite products from um, Pampered Chef because I just got some of these and I think that they are awesome. This is my go-to dinner that I make for my family um, when I wanna do something really quick. So just to save time, um, I've already cooked the chicken, but basically all that we did was put three chicken breasts inside the um, quick cooker along with a jar of salsa, one jar of salsa. Um, so the quick cooker is really easy. I have a Instant Pot, but this seems to be a little bit easier to control. So um, let me show you what it looks like in there. So the chicken is already in there, the salsa's on top, and to cook it, we just put the top on. That's already. Um, what you would normally do if you were doing this for the first time is make sure that this um, release is up and that the um, steam is is set to seal. And then you hit the custom but button, or in this case, we actually did the um, poultry, which you turn this knob to select your option that you want. So we use chicken poultry for 15 minutes and then just hit the start button. And if you do that, it'll get up to steam. And then once it's up to steam, it'll start counting down. But we're not gonna do that because it's already done. So um, when it completes the cycle, then if you wanna do a quick release, all you have to do on this quick cooker is hit that button. This pops up and the steam is released, but we've already done that. So, so to make this recipe, we're gonna use a couple of my favorite um, pampered chef, chef tools. One is the salad um, chopper, and it's basically just a pair of scissors, but it has two blades. So once the chicken is cooked and the salsa is, um, has been used to marinate it, you basically can just cut up the chicken into small pieces using this tool, which I think is awesome. The other tool that works on this as well is this um, mix and chop tool. And you just use that to chop the chicken up and, and grind it. We use that on ground beef all the time, I love it. But this is kind of my favorite new chicken chopping tool. So when that's all chopped up, which shouldn't be too long before it's done, but those are three chicken breasts. So after that's done, all I have to do is um, add in 16 ounces of Monterey Jack cheese, which I have already pre-shredded, but if you are not in as much of a hurry as I am and you want to shred your own cheese, the um, the grater is an awesome tool to use for that. And my cheese, that's a lot of cheese. And then it also takes three cans of Great Northern Beans. And this is kind of one of the most awesome things that I own. Um, you put the, let me see if I can set this up so you can see what I'm doing. So to use this, you basically just line it up with the top of the can like that. You start turning it and it goes around. Once it's gotten all the way around, you'll feel it kind of release. You turn it back just a little bit and use the little tool here to lift it up. There are no rough edges and voila, all done. And so we have our three cans of Great Northern Beans, 
um, 16 ounces of Monterey Jack cheese, three chicken breasts, a jar of salsa, and then I add one more, like a half a jar of salsa. We use Clint salsa. Um, doesn't really matter which salsa you use, use your favorite. And mix that all together. Right now it's just warming on the warming setting um, and it'll start counting up when it's warming. And then I season it with this um, tahini. I don't really measure how much I put in there. I just sort of do it to taste. So it's just a kind of a normal amount. And then once it's warmed through, I just serve this with um, with some tortilla strip um, salad topping and maybe a little bit of sour cream if it's a little bit on the spicy side, but usually it's not. It depends on what salsa you use as to how spicy it ends up getting. But that is it. And it's one of my family's favorite meals.